Okay, everyone, welcome to another lesson from You and Me Academy. And I come to you today with a smile on my face because After Effects has finally done it. They have made our lives easier and a lot easier with less clutter. Now, what am I talking about? So in the new beta version of After Effects, um, there is a new feature where you can use one mat for multiple layers. This is huge because it's gonna clean up your project so much and it's gonna make your workflow so much easier and your everything's just gonna be more clear when you're looking through um, your comps and your timelines. Um, now, as of now, it's still in beta, but in the future, this is gonna be a normal feature um, that will be here hopefully forever. All right, so let's look at what we have here. So what I have here is I have um, text that is typed out that is matting bunch of different clips now these clips are all using this one mat to do it now that's amazing because what it used to look like was this it used to look like you used to have to copy the mats for each layer and you had to um yeah parent it and you had to uh just have them all be the same to match assuming you wanted that now of course you could pre-comp um, you could do the preserve transparency. There's stuff like that, but that all has limitations. This is so huge because now um, what we can do is we can just have everything be at one. Now let's do a fresh one. So what I have here is I just have that type again. And let's just grab um, a piece of footage. Let's scale it down. Let's say that we want this guy to be matted out. Now what you're going to see, uh, this is going under an assumption that you know how the old stuff used to work. So what you're going to see is you're going to set a track map and you're going to, let's just say to mat number one. Okay. So it's going to do like we expect. Now what happens is we see that we instantly have two buttons out here. Now in the past, you used to, you used to have to select, oh, do I want alpha mat, luma mat? Do I want inverted? All that stuff. No more. You select your mat, what you want to be mat as, and then over here, you select if you want to be an alpha mat or a luma mat. Now, right now, it's turning gray because it's 50% gray, or transparent, I should say. And next to it, you have your invert toggle. So you can just easily invert it. Awesome, really great, simple to use. Now, where this really starts to come in handy is let's say that we want, let's say we want this guy to be kind of popping out of this T, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna invert him and let's put a mask around him and let's just set a quick key and let's go ahead and see how that works. So now, instead of having to duplicate this layer, we can just set the same one to it. Let's go ahead and add another one. I would like to just take, yeah, sure, this guy. Actually, he might be a little more difficult to key. Um, let's take, yeah, let's take this nice and colorful. Let's take this, let's scale it down. Let's go here. And let's say that we want this to be like here, maybe. All right, so same thing. Instead of having to duplicate this mat, all we have to do, point to it, go like that. And right now it's behind this kickflip layer. So let's just call this yellow. And let's duplicate this and I will Let's invert it. And then let's just do like a quick garbage mask here for the side. Dun, 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 dun. Great. And then, uh, and then we have it, right? So we have it. And instead of having four mat layers, we have one. Now think about this. If we had four mat layers, for instance, over here, if we have four mat layers, every time I do something, let's say, let's say I want this scaled or something. So now that I'm scaling this, um, everything gets thrown off. It's it's not respecting it, all the other mats. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to parent it to one master one, or you'd have to pre-comp it. Um, but what would happen? What if you wanted this word to change? What if I wanted to say skate? Well, then all of a sudden I have to change all of them to skate. So no more. If I come in here and I say skate, done. Of course, we have to move our footage wherever, but just like that, we're done. Um, so that's cool. Uh, that's great. Let's go ahead and move everything to the center. And the next thing is I want to talk about is um, its its abilities and its limitations. So its abilities are if we want to put effects on it, like a rough and edge, it respects it, right? That's great. You could put any effect on here. Um, as far as I know, that's going to affect the look or shape of it and it's going to respect it. So that's really cool. Um, how you would expect. 
Um, the next thing to know is that it will respect a mask. So if I go to my if I go to my skate and I put a new mask on here, let's just say I want this. If I put this on here, now you'll see when we unsolo and I turn this off, it respects that. And it's also going to respect its feathering, etc. Everything that the mask has to offer. So really cool stuff. Of course, if you animate it, it will also respect that. If I come over here and I animate this, now all of a sudden, well, it's gonna be moving really slow. This <laughs> is a little too slow here. But if I come over here, that, it respects it. Um, as you would expect. So let's go ahead and let's turn that off. And the other limitation, because I wanted to kind of push it as far as I could. So let's say that we made a new layer and let's just give it like some crazy mask. Okay. Now I wanted to see if I could break it and I was able to break it. So let's say that we have our skate mat, right? And then we want to do an alpha mat of that star that we just created. So let's label this as star. And you'll see that now um, this skate is being matted by the star or inverted, however you want to look at it, um, which is cool. So let's say we want this for our actual mat. This was our mat. Well, what you're going to see is it doesn't actually respect the, um, the mat itself of the star, right? It, 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 it'll only take the, uh, the first input, I guess you could say, the first input of it actually um, being in there. Um, so that's kind of the one limitation that I was able to find with it. I'm still not sure why I'm able to see this this, this gray here, though, because this is kind of strange. I have a feeling this is a beta bug, because see how we're seeing the star here, but it's not even on? I think this is probably a, a bug. Let's turn this off. And then... Yeah, okay, maybe it's because I had it on. That's what it is. That's kind of interesting though. So it's kind of interesting if you have the star, if you have this, that makes sense. So it is respecting it like that, but it won't respect it as a mat. So you see it's not cutting it out as a mat. So that's gonna do it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like more After Effects stuff, please let us know. We focus a lot of times on CG, but we also have a huge knowledge in After Effects. Um, it's part of our daily workflow. So thanks so much, and I will see you on the next one.